Thank you. For the third year in a row, Seattle plans to close Alki Beach and Golden Gardens earlier at night to cut down on crime and illegal activity. Key 5's Cornelius Hawker is live at Alki Beach with those details tonight. Julie, the 10.30 p.m. closure starts this Friday here at Alki Beach and Golden Gardens. It'll last through the summer. Seattle Parks hopes it'll make coming to the beaches safer for everyone. Some cards in a stack. Charlize Jones loves spending time at Alki Beach with her family. I like the beach. I like the environment, being able to see the mountains. You got to take in the view. The water's right here. But Charlize says Green. some people come to the beach and don't respect it. That's for y'all. They come on the beach, they litter, they, they do whatever they want to do. Seattle Parks knows about these problems. Since summer 2022, the Parks Department has closed Alki Beach earlier in the evening to try and stop violent crimes from happening. In that time span, King 5 has covered at least three shootings at or near Alki Beach. The most recent happened last Wednesday, May 15th. A man was sitting in his car on Harbor Avenue early in the morning when he was shot in a drive by. He drove himself to the hospital. It's hit or miss. You can't decipher whether somebody's out here for good reasons or if they're out here on bad stuff. Charlize has mixed opinions about the early curfew, but understands why the department is doing it. For the general population, the people who are on here in general know because it basically punishes us. But for the safety of the people around, I think it, it's, what, it's what's most beneficial. It allows us to be safe. They close the park down at a nice time. It won't be too dark and everybody will be able to get home safely in theory. So, yeah, I, I appreciate it. Honestly. In the fall, Seattle Parks will decide whether or not to make the early summer closure permanent. Live in West Seattle, Cornelius Hawker, King 5 News.